All new at six, a mission family grieving at this hour after a car accident kills a loved one. The 27 year old crashed and his car ended up in a canal. Action 4's Brett Crandall reports. A bouquet of flowers now marks the spot where Joel Alberto Torres crashed his vehicle that flipped into the canal, ending his young life. His family now struggling to say goodbye. It was a shock and no, no one can still believe that he's he's gone. The death of Desiree's brother-in-law, Joel Alberto Torres, came unexpectedly, especially for those who were with him the day before. It was a huge shock. They, for them to, to be talking to him and then the next morning you find out your best friend is gone. While traveling north on Ware Road early Thursday morning, the 27-year-old lost control of his car, hit a guardrail and flipped the vehicle into the canal. Fortunately, he did not feel much pain. In the autopsy, it did come out as far as he had a head trauma, so he was unconscious, so he, he did not suffer, so that is one thing, you know, that we are very grateful that he did not suffer at that time when, when, he, when he left us. What he will be missed for most is his love for life. He was always the life of the party, like you go somewhere and you would be waiting for him to get there because it would just start from then. But party or no party, Joel will continue to be remembered. He's still here. He's still with us. And we, we, we're not ever going to forget him or get over the fact that, that he's gone. He certainly will be missed as some questions go unanswered, including what led to the crash in the first place. In McAllen, Brett Crandall, Action 4 News.